Hello everyone! Uh, to everyone just joining, everyone watching things back on the VOD, whether it's here on Twitch or on YouTube, depending on when you're watching this. Hello! Welcome back to another stream, and I'm finally back after being almost gone for the entire week. Um, definitely not how I planned on things going for this week in particular, but um, it happened. Um, so just for a little recap, um, originally I was supposed to be streaming on Monday um, before I like before I went away on like holidays for. Few days, which um, I just got back from, like not too long ago, but um, very unfun times that day, um, unfun circumstances, which led to me just saying, "Fuck it, I'm taking a break to just just for the sake of my own mental health." Um, I was not having a good day that day, um, but yeah, um, I'm finally back. Um, it's been a long week, it's been a busy week, it's been a good but also very stressful week, um, which, you know, it's, to be fair, it's kind of believable, but at the same time, it's very unbelievable. Um, but, anyway, um, that being said, because today has been, whoops, that's stuck on a thing on the side, I swear some of the cables got kind of, ugh, when I packed things that pack some things up um to use while i was away but um that being said considering how today has been a long day and this week has been a very very long week in general i thought that as a nice little way to sort of kick myself back into things even though it's only been like um a gap of two streams um i'm going to opt for just an art stream, because I do like doing these, mostly on the odd occasion when I'm trying to sort of, like, have a small little thing after, like, an intense few streams, or an intense stream prior to that, or if there's been no other plans, no other ideas, or anything that have come to mind, I also need to hide the interface for, uh, VidoTube, because I forgot about that, um, but, um, uh, but today just felt, or Art felt right for today because of how busy and how long things have been today. So I'm just going to do something simple and just do and vibe with this for today. Um, and I know that art was the one of the streams that I did last time, which was, which, you know, was cool. Um, if you weren't here previously for art stream, um, uh, that's okay. Um, the VOD's still here on Twitch, I believe, unless I didn't publish it, I might have forgotten to... No, I didn't forget to do that. I do need to actually... Yeah, um, there's a whole bunch of other VODs I need to catch up with, like, posting to YouTube, which is, uh, kind of concerning. Um, anyway, um... But if you weren't here for last stream, um, basically my main focus of last art stream um, was redrawing my peace sign emote because while the original was okay, it was scale it was it was drawn in a scale that made it very difficult to actually see the emote. So I did that. It was a very that was a very good idea because um, it came out much better than the original, and that this little guy is now available for um, tier one subs. Um, in addition to that, um, on the side, I resized the um, the T emote so that, like, removing the lower half of the body. If I find um, P new, because that was what I I, I made the files <clears throat> separate, so that the original version of the emote is still there, but the new version is just kind of separate from it. Yeah, I removed the lower half of the body. I might also. Um, at some point, when I feel like it, just go back to the lighting and adjust that so it looks a lot better. But at the very least, if I was to type this in chat right now, um, the... it's kind of difficult to tell, but you can see things a lot better now than you could before. It was way smaller before. And I did the same with um, the hype emote as well. Um, if I find him, he is a lot better, he is a lot better to see now, um, although I 
think for some reason in like actual like um OBS it's showing up as the original versions of the emotes, which is weird. That's kind of weird. That's not supposed to happen, I don't think. So maybe there's something that needs to be refreshed on OBS's side. I'm not too sure. I'm not an expert on this kind of thing. But I did those changes to those emotes. And I may as well put music on because um I found I found a different playlist. The same person who made like the very long days in Xenoblade um also made a calm day in Pokemon. Which is very nice. So it's just like a whole five hour video of just nice sort of slow, gentle music from the Pokemon games, which is very neat. But um, yeah, um, for those, aside from those changes for those emotes, there was one drawing that I did post to Twitter um, the other day. And it didn't get much like traction to it, which is kind of sad because I'm very proud of this one. It's of my third OC again, which... I was drawing on a previous stream, um, not this drawing in particular, but there was another drawing that I did on a previous stream, and I'm proud of how I did it, because I actually decided to look up um, proper bits of lighting for reference, and, you know, doing it from this angle, which if I zoom way back through, I was using this frame from Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, from, like, just after Ghetto becomes, like, cult leader, um, like, as the angle because i thought you know what i i i unintentionally did it and i thought screw it this i have this in mind so i'm gonna use it and i think i used it pretty well um and i did i did pretty well with this and it's and kind of sad that not too many people saw it but all the same i'm you know pretty happy with how it turned out and there's like little lessons here that i can use going forward um but anyway, um, as for what we're doing today on this stream, I'm not so sure at the moment, <laughs> because I, 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 thought, I thought to myself, you know what, we'll do an art stream, just to, and I was using this for a reference for another thing that I did just before I went away, but um, I thought to myself, we're going to do an art stream, because it'll be chill, it'll be nice, it'll be an easy thing to settle into after a long week, a long day, just, um, you know, <laughs> But, um, I, I was looking some stuff up that I could possibly use as reference. Um, trying to find it. Um, I think I found it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna get that up. I might actually use this, like, as an emote idea, much in the same vein as Dragon has done previously for some of my, for some of my follower emotes. And also some of my, like, tier 1 emotes. Let me just double check. No, it's my follower emotes. Well, one of my follow, yeah, 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 for two of my follow emotes. There was one which was uh, quite clear, <laughs> quite clearly based on like Chibi Ghetto from JJK Season Two, and another one was based on the frame of Yuji from Season One of JJK. You're noticing, you can notice a pattern here. Um, I love JJK, and she loves JJK as well, and thought it would be a good idea to do that. And I liked, I like it. But there is one thing I am thinking in particular for an emote which i think <laughs> would work very well i don't know i don't know why i have the strong feeling in my bones that it would work i i just got this reference from google right now and i've named it in all caps because i thought yeah this is this is the only way to uh, name it or refer to it um so i'm gonna throw that in the reference here. yeah i'm gonna do um Yuji's I'm you speech to fucking Mahito as an emote. <laughs> and <laughs> it's, I This is an idea. This is a new idea that I'm trying. We'll see if we'll see if this works. Um I'm not sure at the moment, but we'll 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 sketch it out. We'll we'll do things. We'll see what happens. If it looks good enough, then I'll be happy with this, because it just popped into my head, and I thought, you know what? We'll get, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll f we'll fuck it. Let's do it. So, um, without further ado, I guess, 
Sorry, I've been rambling on for so long. Uh, let's get going. Um, also, there's some things that I've been sort of trying to get to grips with the past few days. I won't go into detail about it, like, right now. Maybe eventually if I feel like sort of explaining things. That, like, stuff that, like, happened on Monday and stuff that happened over the past few days. Then maybe I'll go into it. But... There's just things I'm trying to understand about myself right now that is kind of... It's kind of scary. Um, it's one of those things where you thought that you understood things about yourself or about your life and how it worked in general. And then suddenly this one thing comes along and it's like, wow, everything feels like it's changing and it's terrifying. But in actuality, it kind of isn't. But at the same time, it's more so... Um, it's not that everything is changing, is changing, it's just that how you've understood things until now, while it worked, you're going to have to try and adjust it for, you know, how things are feeling now. Which, at first, seems scary, but at the very least, there are people I know who have gone through this kind of thing before, like, when it happened to them, and they at least know, like, ways to help, and I appreciate that a lot. I appreciate it a lot. I appreciate it a lot more than, like, I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be honest with it, I, they, I appreciate it a lot more than I believe they know. Maybe they'll know it at some point, but um, at the moment, I'm just kind of keeping that under my little um, on the under my little sleeve. Yeah, that that's what I'm doing at the moment. But anyway, aside from that, um, what else? Oh yeah, um. I've, I've been changing some things in my room, in my little work, in my little workspace, my little environment. Um, back at university, uh, back when I streamed at university, though I don't know why I'm saying streaming in particular, just in general when I was back at university, um, I had two sets of like little fairy lights that I had hung up um, above my bed. It, it kind of went back and forth from like the top of my bed because there was like a huge like wooden overhang above my bed. So it went from the top of there, and it went back and forth between there and the wall in like a little zigzag pattern. Like one side was held down by blue tack, you know, on the top of the bed, and one side was held down by drawing pins because there was like a little sort of cork, like corkboard style kind of thing. Um, I, I don't know how to explain it necessarily, but um, basically um, had that, um, and it... Like, it felt very homely to me. Like, having those lights in my room at uni at the time like that, it felt different. Like, it gave me an atmosphere that felt very chill. And it was very, it was especially helpful at the time because I was not feeling very happy at that point. There was things that I was, you know, going through, like, mental health-wise. It was the first time I was, um, it was roughly the first time I was referred to therapy, and I still had to wait a few months for that. But it was also, like, the first time I had, like, antidepressants and stuff, which, um, yeah, getting used to them, not very, not a very fun experience. <laughs> so, um, it helped me feel relaxed at a time where, you know, A lot of things were uncertain for me and I feel like now when I'm feeling uncertain about things again it'll be very helpful again so um, that's what I am doing right now I put my lights back up for the first time since I left university so two years um, though sadly one of them uh, like the wire on one of them kind of snapped that like, has like broken in one of the in like one place along the wire and the, those other sets of light or that other set of lights doesn't work anymore. That's sad because 
like I want to have both my sets of lights there because otherwise it just doesn't feel the same. So I've had to order like another set. Though I say order another set, it's more like the original set of lights that I got at the time don't exist anymore. And now they're sold as like a free pack or a five pack. So I've had to reluctantly buy a free pack of lights just so I can get like the other part of the bloody vibe all set up again. And that's frustrating. A little frustrating. Not like the end of the world, but it's still like a little... It's like, uh, do I have to? But I, I have to. And of course, I'm, because I'm basing it on my little talky person, or me, I'm going to have to make the adjustments based on that. So it's going to be... Like, having the actual hood. And also, I feel like he is gonna... <laughs> I feel like he is gonna have a little bit of a fucking jump scare if he ever tunes... If he ever sees me working on this, because it's gonna be like... Oh my god, you why are you doing that? And I... <laughs> um, I need to actually check what um slots I have for emotes at the moment, because I know I don't have too many. Um, so let's check viewer rewards emotes. I have no more spaces for standard tier one emotes, so <clears throat> Un until I, you know, meet the um, 10 subscriber points target. So I feel like for now, if and when I get this emote done, I, it'll, it'll be during the stream. It, it'll definitely be during the stream that I get it done, because I want to get it done during the stream. Um, when I get it done... I'll throw it into the follower tier at the moment, which is kind of sad because it, like, you wouldn't be able to get that on Discord. So, uh, one thing I need to do, one thing I definitely need to do at some point is, although, like, with how Twitch integration with Discord works, is that, oh, um, if you're subscribed to this person, depending on what tier you subscribe at, you get this tier, of, like, these tiers of emotes that you can use from their Discord in, like, well, in their Discord, and if you have, like, Discord Nitro, you can use it anywhere, which is cool beans, cool beans, you know? But <laughs> follower emotes don't have that same luxury because uh, they're not part of the integration. So, um, one thing I need to do is I need to actually add the follower emotes just as server emotes on Discord. Because then, at that point, they're available to use anywhere. I didn't mean to do like cross hatching, but um, I guess we're I guess we're I guess we're doing cross hatching now, even though it's just the sketch. Um, I'm imagining, I'm imagining things. <clears throat> also, um, for my break, um, believe it or not, first ever time I stayed in the caravan, because until, until then, I had never been in a caravan. It was my first ever time, at the very least I think so. I don't think it ever happened when I was a kid, and even if it did, I don't remember anything. So, um... Yeah, uh, first ever time in a caravan. That was um, an interesting experience. I'm not sure if I ever want to repeat that experience. Not for a long time at the very least, but um, it was it was it was a time. Being away was a time, though it gave me it it it, it almost forced me to learn some things about myself, which is the thing I was, I guess, referring to in the first place in terms of like, oh. Um, there's some new things I've learned that I'm trying to sort of adjust and adjust to and sort of re sort of thingy my life around, which is yeah, a lot of different stuff. A lot of different stuff, really. But I'm not too downtrodden about it, because 
the thing that it's like that I'm referring to has kind of been suspected for a long time. So, um, <laughs> so to a lot of people that I know, it's not a surprise. Oh God damn it! I, 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 uh, I need to highlight or I need to color pick again so I can get the color back. I'm having to use two references, but I'm putting this on my other monitor. So at the moment, I can't see OBS um, briefly. Um, so if there was anyone there, they could sort of like say stuff and I would only see it when I get back to it. But um, the reason why I'm using like another little image outside of the one I'm using as a reference is because the thing I'm using is a spoiler for the manga. And... Um, I'm using that little drawing that I did back then um, because um, of the angle that I drew things at. So... I do want to make things a little bit longer. Cause it, cause it looks a bit short with um, the ponytail. So move those down, and then just sort of connect things there, like that. Perfect. I can't, I can't wait to see how this shapes up. Cause this is gonna be pretty neat. <laughs> oh gosh, uh, and they wonder why I'm so cooked. <laughs> So once again, draw the hairline, because um, doing that has been very helpful lately. Um, like, not just with the emote that I redrew last art stream, but also just generally, in terms of art in general, drawing like the hairline where it would be has been super helpful. It's been super helpful for forming like, a bit of structure for things. So, um, yeah, no. Um, I don't know why I never did it before. Now, chat, I don't know. I don't know if I would, I'd actually do, like, the scars that Yuji has on, like, the emo maybe I would. Maybe I would just for the sake of, you know, um this works, but I I'd probably do it as like faint little things and not like actual blood blood kind of stuff, because I think Twitch is very funny about how emo like the content that emotes have to a degree. So I'm of course gonna have to try and sort of tone things down in places so that it still retains the same like aura, but at the same time it's um, you know, censor to the extent where I'm not gonna have Twitch be like, hey, uh, this emote right here, um, you can't do this. This is a no-no. Um, and hey, depending on how long this takes, if this doesn't take too long to sort out, then, um, I will focus on doing another little thing too, because, um, one thing I am, like, wanting to try and work on is how much I can do within an art stream because like while it has while I haven't sort of complained too much about like only getting like a singular emote done during an art stream or a singular drawing done during an art stream I do wish I could get more done I want to get better with my speed but I guess mostly that's consistency and i'm not too consistent with the art streams because i only do it as like an every so often thing but even then i feel like it's consistency with art in general because for the most part i haven't really found time for it and i and i and i'm wanting to try and find more time for it and other things too like i want to like edit more stuff because i want to be able to get better and quicker with that and also be able to recognize things a bit more with my editing because at the moment i am in when it when it comes to having a good sense for things in editing i am as blind as a bat i can't tell shit so um yeah if i have the kick to edit again 
which I'm hoping will be soon, maybe, because there's things I'm wanting to try and change and improve about things in terms of, like, what I make, like, content-wise. Um, I do want to try and sort of sort that out. So, um... Let's get rid of the funny circle, because that's kind of getting in the way. Also, like, I love Xenoblade. I absolutely love the shit out of Xenoblade, don't get me wrong. But it's nice to have, like, another, like, chill music playlist that isn't, you know, my all-time favorite game slash series all over again because I know I'm thinking more so for the for the sake of other people who tune in who may not necessarily be interested in Xenoblade as of yet and I say as of yet because I will find my ways of getting you into the series and I will make you love it but um yeah I'm I'm speaking more so for the people who may not necessarily be interested in, in it yet thinking oh god he, he, he's playing the so song again why but um in a lot of ways one it I, I guess because it's like my stuff my stream I just kind of say you know what fuck it I'm making this other people's problems again today um but I don't want to make it too much of like too pro like too much of a problem for other people so I wanted to sort of like, I guess in a way, retire the Xenoblade music for a stream. Um, though, um, you'll eventually you'll, uh, you'll 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 hear more of the Xenoblade music, but not in the same capacity. But you'll find out eventually. <laughs> so, um, That needs to be moved up a bit. Also, today feels like, ah, uh, just in general, today was one of those days where, like, because of how long the drive back home is my back was being compressed so much and it was painful it was painful just to be sat in the car for so long so i'm glad to be able to just kind of be able to sit in a chair normally again it's uh, uh <laughs> i'll do the, i'll do the scars i'll do i won't do the blood but i'll do the scars I think the one thing that's kind of crazy to me is that Jujutsu Kaisen's manga ends at the end of September. It's a month away. It's one month, and then and then that series is gone. I have been on a journey with JJK for uh, three years. Three years since 2021 when I first watched season one, and then I read the manga, and then saw Shibuya happen, and then was like, oh god, what the fuck happens next? I, I, I have been in that state of, like, Oh dear god, especially like in the past year with like the manga and the leaks and stuff because I got into the rhythm of like reading manga leaks within the past year or so and that was uh, <laughs> that was uh, crazy, crazy times, crazy times. Uh, I do need to add my glasses to him eventually but I'm just getting the main details in. Had a funny emote idea. <laughs> uh, I did have the funny emote idea. I, I I'm happy that I thought of this idea just as I was going live. Uh, right. I need to add glasses to.
<clears throat> also, like, with, I, I know I'm going on a tangent about, like, stream music again, and what I'm listening to on, like, art streams and stuff, but with, with this, like, video in particular, it feels like, like, I'm drifting through different parts and years of my life, depending on what game it's playing music from. It's, it's a different feeling compared to a, compared to having the Xenoblade music on all the time. It's, because although Xenoblade is my absolute favorite, all-time favorite series, games and whatnot, it's, Pokemon has been, like, so much of a, like, more, like, present constant for most of my life, for over half of my life. Um, it's... That's why it feels so different, I guess, in a way. <clears throat> I guess I, I... I guess in order to make this work, I need to add the pupils. Which is kind of weird, because I don't normally do pupils. You know what? Actually, looking at this, this doesn't look too bad. Oh, well, that makes it disappear. That's not what I was supposed to do. That, oh, that's move layer. That's not the... <laughs> right. This is actually pretty good. I did a good job with this, even though, like, it's copying from reference, I know. But, but to be fair, there's no shame in, like, drawing from reference. Especially if you're trying to do, like, emotes and stuff as, like, a funny little nod. Because, um... It's cool. It's cool stuff. It's cool stuff. Right. So, now I've done the sketch, which didn't take too long, honestly. Um, so, new wrestler layer, we're gonna go... Considering it's only, like, it's not too complex of an emote, I'd say... Wait. No, I'll still, I'll still do my separate line art layer. So, body, line art... <clears throat> Headline art and extras line art. You know, just just the same level of se layers of separation that I had when I was redrawing the emote. Just because you know it works, it works for me. It, it keeps my little it keeps my little brain organized in a way that's like happy. That keeps me happy. So um, because extras line art is literally the easiest. Thing. It's just like the pairs, the pair of glasses. Um, do that first. Get that out of the way. Also, uh, if no one has played any of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, what the hell? What the hell's wrong with you? Um, I can understand if you're not a fan of Pokemon if you haven't played the Mystery Dungeon series. Um, but if you have played any of the Pokemon games, and the Mystery Dungeon games are not one of them? What is wrong with you? Why have you not played them? Um, <laughs> I'm not saying that absolutely all of them are great, because I know that the, the Mystery Dungeon series has had, like, a sort of, like, odd, I guess, <clears throat> I guess decline in quality, depending on, like, what game in the series you're looking at. Um, I definitely know that, um, Everything after everything after Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky has been questionable. It's been they've been questionable levels of quality. Um, but I can always recommend um, Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky because um, they were the first Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games I played. Um, I got Darkness, my brother got Time, and then eventually I got Explorers of Sky, um, because, just because, but, god, <laughs> when it comes to, like, those sets of games, there's no 
I feel like there's no point in recommending Explorers of Time or Darkness because Sky is essentially... It's essentially what Pokemon Platinum was for Diamond and Pearl, where it was just the enhanced version. <clears throat> it was the enhanced version of a of like a duo of games that was already released. Um and and that's true in every sense of the word, because you'd get the content that you still had in Time and Darkness, you'd be able to get like the Pokemon from like both of those versions in Sky. But you'd get the extra story bits as well. There were extra little story episodes that they added and extra little things you could do in in Explorers of Sky. But generally, like those three games, peak peak storytelling in the Pokemon series. Like I Like aside from Gen 5, like Pokemon Black and White. Not too much has come close to them in terms of story lately. Um, and that's kind of sad. Um, but I definitely say that um, Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky are also peak storytelling because of the bloody of, of, of the bloody emotion it makes you feel. It if I if I had to talk about games that will hurt you. That will make you feel things. That will, you know, make you reconsider your stance on things. Then, or on life. Then, Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky and the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. Like, it, sound, it sounds like an exaggeration. It sounds like I'm being like, ah, look. You, you've, um... I need to actually do the little tufts of hair here as well. I need to revisit like my other emotes and add the little tufts of hair because it, it adds it adds dimension and layers, and also it will work with the reference too. So, um, so I don't want to necessarily just do that entire, or I don't want to cut this entire layer either. I just started. I don't want to get rid of it, but um, Like, it sounds like I'm exaggerating. And to to be fair, I am maybe, depending on, like, your opinion on it, if you ever get around to playing it. But, in my opinion, it's peak Pokemon. It's peak storytelling. It's just a great game. And everyone should at least give, like, those mystery dungeon games in particular a go once. Like, just all the way through. You did, like... Just play like the story, play the extra little bit. Like if you if you get Sky, play the story, play all the extra story bit. Especially um the special episode five, because they had like five little special episodes that they added in Sky. Um Especially those. Those in particular are Wow. Um episode like they're great. They flesh out characters and stuff that you meet in the game, but episode five kind of complements the ending of the main story very well in terms of the emotion. It's... There's a lot of different themes that, that Time, Darkness, and Sky explore that I don't want to mention because I feel like it would be doing a disservice if I try to explain it. Because I get the feeling I would um, botch the explanation slightly. So, yeah. Um, oh yeah, um, I also mentioned in the server, like if you're in the Discord server, cool. If you're not, then um, I'm doing this with Nightbot. That Discord link is there if you're wanting to join the server. If you haven't already, but um, I was I said I was going to talk about next week because next week, next Saturday in particular is my birthday. Like crazy stuff. It it, it doesn't feel like it's been like too long since I started getting back into streaming towards the end of last year, and now it's almost my birthday in a week, like like a week tomorrow. But um, next week I I I originally was so hesitant on doing anything for my birthday week because I thought I, I was I was in I was in a bad headspace of well what's the point what's the reason for me even doing this because you know 
who would even be there. But now I'm looking at it differently. I'm thinking, you know what? Screw that. I'm just going to do it anyway. Because um, if I have fun, then I'll have fun. So I'm going to do it that way. Um, so next week is going to be like birthday week of streams. And I'm going to try and do something different that week. Though, in terms of like the first stream that week on the Monday, I'm going to get back to Kingdom Hearts 2 as a way to ease into that week. You know, just something familiar. And then for like the other days, we're just kind of winging it in terms... Like, I'd say winging it. I have ideas. I am planning... Like, I am going like the final sort of draft of ideas. But frankly, I'm not that great of coming up with ideas sometimes. I'm just... Some, like, sometimes I can come up with things pretty well, and then other times it's like, wow, uh, what am I doing here? What, <laughs> what do I do? I, I, and, I, and, then I, and then I struggle to come up with ideas, and I feel rotten about it, because like, I want to be able to have like some ideas of my own, and like not always have to say, hey, hello, can you help me with this? I need some plans, and I, I just don't know what to do. Like... I'm not saying that there's necessarily anything wrong with asking for help with ideas, because that's the way, like, teams for, like, like game development teams sort of get their ideas for projects, like, either, like, in studios or during game jams or anything. That's how they get ideas. That's how they make ideas. That's how they sort of bounce them around. But, um... I swear to god, right? This is stuff- this is... This is stuff that I'm seeing now. So... So, for people who don't know, uh, Risk of Rain 2. I fucking love that game. Risk of Rain 2 is great. Like, Risk of Rain Returns is also great. Though, it was a it was a bit of getting used to, because I'd never played, like, the original Risk of Rain, because Risk of Rain Returns is just, um, like, a remake of Risk of Rain 1. But, you know, more polished graphics, more polished UI, they, they added some things from Risk 2, and... You know, cool stuff, cool stuff. I love Risk of Returns. Risk of Returns is great. Risk of Rain 2, I love more. Um, they released the DLC for Risk of Rain 2 um, on Tuesday. And I thought, you know what? This is going to be great. Um, I haven't I haven't gotten around to playing the DLC yet. But from what I see, uh, what happened? Um, because from what I'm seeing, and this is like... This is essentially what's happening, like, among modders, including the original developer behind the game, because, like, they sold the Risk of Rain franchise, like, the Risk of Rain franchise was handed over to Gearbox, um, worst mistake they, that was ever, ever, that was ever possibly made, because, um, I just look at what has been happening with Risk 2 since the DLC launched, and I know it's not the case with everyone, because probably people, some people have their frame rates locked to, like, 60 or a certain value, and, you know, that's cool beans. But for people who don't, they've been having a whole slew of problems with, like, things in the DLC, because uh, the, the people at Gearbox don't know how to develop a game that is independent of frame rate. A lot of the things that they added in the DLC is frame rate dependent. Um... So, um, it feels like they have butchered, like, the original devs creation. And there was a screenshot from, like, the mod from the Risk of Rain 2 modding, dis modding Discord, I, bel I believe? Because, um, the original, like, programmer for the game is in there. And he's basically just looking at all of this going on with people showing him what the, what the hell Gearbox have done to his code. And... There's just sadness. He's like, my my beautiful creation. Like, that was literally one of the screenshots I saw. It was just him lamenting the the desecration of his beautiful creation. And 
I, I feel the same way. If I worked very hard on programming a game that, in a lot of ways, had an insane cultural impact and some big, large studio who sort of rips it away from me just says, yeah, um, we're going to make a DLC for this, but we're going to botch it in the worst way possible. And I see that happen, I'd be like, yeah, I'd, I, I'd be upset too. I'd be very upset as well. So, I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for him. I know there's like a lot of people being Twitter brain being like, oh, well, that's, that's, that's their fault for selling the game in the first place. But apparently, according to the programmer, like, oh, um, they didn't have too much of a choice and he didn't see any money from it at all, apparently, which is also double fucked. So, um, I don't know how much of like stuff is true. I'm just going off of what I've seen people talk about. But um, suffice to say, not good stuff. Not good stuff. Um, but I'll I'll be giving the DLC a look eventually. Maybe I maybe I will do that for one of my things next week. I haven't given the DLC or anything a look, um, so I'll do that either on the Tuesday or the Friday, maybe depending on how I feel. Um, because I have things plotted out for, of course, the Monday. I have things plotted out for the Wednesday. I have things plotted out for the Saturday. Thursday doesn't count because Thursday is a D&D &D day, so I don't stream on that day. Um, which is kind of sad. I didn't get to do D&D &D this week because I was away. Um, we were going to get important lore stuff for the campaign we're running, though. We'll wait until next week for that, which is fine enough, though. Still a little, um, still a little sad about that. But uh, Thursday is a non-stream day, because that's D&D &D day. Um, Saturday. Yeah. Uh, and Saturday, my birthday, I have plans on that day for the stream. I am going to stream as early as I possibly can. So probably... I'll probably follow the same rules that I did for um, the Final Shape when I was streaming that. Where I would stream at like 6 and I'll go until like one, so for six, seven hours, which is insane. Um, it's always insane when I go for a stream for that long, because it's like, wow. Um, but I think also, just in general for next week, I may try and just do that for all of the streams I do that week, because, um, hey, um, if we're doing something different for the whole week, we may as well be different with the times that we stream. So... That's what I'm going to do. Also, it's September, which, um, that's different. I, I mean, I know it's a thing that's happened a, a many times before, but that's different for me, considering the fact I've only been affiliate since um, the end of last year. Um, so yeah, um... I was about, I was really about to move on to, like, the other line art bits, when I need to do this stuff. Oh yeah, on the subject of Pokemon Sleep, because this song is from Pokemon Sleep. Uh, I haven't used Pokemon Sleep in over a year, because I thought... Because I, I was using it at first, and I was enjoying using Pokemon Sleep. And then there was, like, shit, um... Uh... It's... Yeah, no, um... Now I remember, I, I, my brain just kind of went... Sorry about that. Um, but, um, in terms of Pokemon Sleep, like, I was enjoying using it. Then I thought, oh god, it's like, affecting my actual alarms, and it's causing them to not go off, and multiple times I kept waking up later than I would have liked to, and I was getting frustrated with it, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna stop using it, I'm gonna see if that affects my alarms, and I feel like maybe it was a placebo effect. Maybe it wasn't actually the, um, maybe it wasn't actually Pokemon Sleep doing that because, um, sometimes it still happens on a normal day. Not on a work day, but mostly on a normal day where sometimes I will still wake up later than I would like to. So, um, 
yeah, um, I may try and give Pokemon Sleep another go, because I, I liked doing the little bits with Pokemon Sleep every day. You know, feeding Snorlax and, you know, making sure all the Pokemon were sort of, like, refilled on their energy and making sure I stuck to, like, a schedule. And just checking Snorlax and all the Pokemon that sort of flocked by during my sleep. Um, I liked doing that kind of stuff. It was a neat little thing. And also, finding out some of the noises that I make during my sleep as well was also funny. So, maybe I'll get back to that. I'm going to take a quick couple minute break because um, drinking a lot of like water and stuff today keeps you sort of like going and also um, things are a bit uneasy. So I will be back in a few minutes. I won't be too long. Uh, just hang tight till then. Uh, I'll be right back. See ya. Right, there we go. I am back. That didn't take too long. Um, right, anyway, sorry about that. Um, it's just that because of, I don't know what it, what it's been today, but things have been like, uns, like mildly unsettled with my stuff, so that wasn't good. Um, but I'm feeling better now.
Gonna check for I'm trying to remember. Oh, this is Vanaville Town from X and Y. That that's why it felt familiar, but I couldn't remember what game it was from. Like, there's that you know that feeling of like, oh, you know what song the game is like, you know you have a feeling that you know what game the song is from, but you just can't quite put your finger on it because it's been so long. Yeah, that kind of feeling. That's what I had right now. Um <clears throat> right. Um, I do still need to do the rest of the stuff in the head. Um, so, Scar. I'll do it thinner. I'll do it a bit thinner than, you know. Like, other stuff. Because it's not like it's, like, ooh. I feel like maybe I don't need like I'm I'm not sure. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't quite look right with line art for the scar. For that scar at least. Like for this one, I it, it makes a bit more sense. But for this one going across, it doesn't quite make sense in a way, so I'll leave that. Um Do need to move that down a bit. Do 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 do. Okay, that kind of made him look a little bit cross-eyed. Whoops. Headline art. That I need to get back to that. Whoops. Because uh, <laughs> I need to do the eyes. I think once upon a time I also like, did eyes separately, but then I just... I don't know what changed. I just decided to start consolidating them into just the headline art. So, who knows? I, I'm not sure what happened. made that lopsided. Whoops. Uh, just adjust that. There we go. Perfect. Then we get the actual eyeballs done.
Hi, hi, he, uh, uh, I hope you can see what I'm using as my reference for my new emote. <laughs> for my new follower emote. <laughs> yeah, no, this is what I meant when I said earlier, I have a funny emote idea. <laughs> So I'm doing me. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually doing, I actually feel like I'm, ugh, that I'm doing a pretty good job with this so far. I, I like how this is looking a lot. Like, it just kind of popped into my head at like the last minute. Because I remember Dragon, she, um made some JJK-esque emotes for like follower emotes for me before and I thought you know what why not just do this because this felt like a funny idea and of course for the time being this would have to be a follower emote because I don't have any more room in tier 1 for um, like tier 1 subs for emotes which is sad um so it would have to be that for the time being, but this is a pretty, this is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, can you, can you tell that I'm, uh, I'm very, um, very jazzed about getting this emote all done and finalized and stuff? Because, um... Also, it's nice to be home again. Um, not that I didn't enjoy my time away, but it was very stressful as well. Um, and there's not like any like yelling or anything between um, nieces and nephews. Uh, thank God. Um, so that is not a thing I am putting up with today. So now I can focus and concentrate and do things. Also, um, I didn't say this in the group chat earlier, Kita, but I'll say it to you now. Uh, I am very upset. Um, one of my lights just kind of uh, doesn't work. So I've had to order a new like not the it wasn't the blue lights that gave up the ghost it was the white lights that died um that the wire is just kind of like broken in one place and it just won't work because of that so I've had to order like a new set of white lights for tomorrow so I can get that set up because while I have a bit of the vibe with like the blue lights it doesn't feel the same unless I have like both sets of lights like both the white and the blue lights. Because it was like, hey, this is the vibe I made back at uni. I made it with the two sets of lights with the different colours. I'm going to be happy once I get this emote done, and also once I add like this and all the other follower emotes to the Discord, so people can just use them. Yeah, and also for the for the ponytail, it wouldn't really make sense if it wasn't like disheveled in any way, so I'm going to try and do that. Same with like up here, it needs to be a bit um, sort of out of sorts. 
like not so very like neatly kept now that I'm thinking about it. Especially given like the context of like Yuji at the end of Shibuya. Like at the end of Shibuya. So it's like And also, how I'm doing this with like, like the rounded fringe and sort of like having the little strands stick up a bit from like, oh, ad break at the moment, but, um, or ad break for non-subs, but, um, for, um, like the little strands sticking up from like the rounded fringe, um, uh, brain, 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 brain. Uh, yeah, no, now I remember. Um, this is reminding me of a thing that I've always had in mind for my first OCE. And how his powers work. I also need to grab a thing from my bag because, um, stuff in there that I need to grab. Give me a moment. I'm having to take off my headset so I can get to my backpack from before my door. Where is the free thing? There is the free thing. Oh, good lord. There we go. Much better. Um. I'm going to spend a quick moment sorting out the meds and stuff because uh, those are still important. One. And that's two. Do 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 There we go. Ad break is finished for people who are non-subs. Or well this this doesn't really affect anyone who is um I was trying to trick Facebook's notifications because they're kind of annoyingly sitting there. That's odd. Who mentioned the oh Anyway, um but I don't like depending on the app, I don't like having hanging notifications. It's kind of annoying. Um Yeah, um, in terms of like my first OC and how his powers work, um, I have a funny little thing with um, how how his rounded quills are tied to how much power he's trying to output at that point in time, which is kind of funny. So if I open like a previous drawing that I've done of my first OC, um, where I can see where it is, uh, pose. Post practice new. That was what the clip file was called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, him, this guy, my first OC. Um, so his quills are rounded. Like, I, I, I've, I've noticed that. Like, oh, um, as a sort of art style thing, in terms of like sort of like characters with quills or fringes and stuff, I made them very rounded. I like how rounded they look. But in terms of like this character in particular, like his whole shtick is that he. He has like powers of darkness and whatnot, and you can make like like create a weapon or shield and stuff from them. Um, depending on like how much he is like channeling at that point in time. Um, I've made it so I thought of the idea so that oh, um, depending on how much power he is channeling, his hair will become more and more disheveled as he is channeling more of it because he's tapping more into that sort of feral, animalistic, sort of primal instinct of his, tied to his bloodline. 
Maybe I'll maybe I'll explain my OC stuff eventually, because that would be fun to do. I, I like trying to sort of write my OC stuff, which is pretty neat. Um, but basically, what I had in mind for like his thing type is Faust, that's basically what I'm doing with the hair here, but except, you know, it being rough and sort of disheveled and stuff, because, you know, Yuji is fucked up here. So, um, yeah. Um, I need to do the body line art now, because... One thing I'll never forgive Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for, I mean, I'm assuming this is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, this is from the Indigo Disc um, DLC for Scarlet and Violet. So I, I'm, I am right in talking about this. Um, one thing I'll never forgive Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for was having a song uh, written and sung by Ed Sheeran in, like, the main game. I will never forgive them for that. I don't really, I don't really like Ed Sheeran. Um... So, um, I, uh, like, his music is eh to me, and like, like, I'm just not too much of a fan of his music in a way, so, but, uh, I, I don't, I don't want... Also, generally, I feel like it's unfitting for the Pokemon series to have... Hmm... Like, because we've never, because we never had, like, a vocal, like, track for, like, an end credit song before, like, in any of the previous Pokemon games. Yeah, I, I guess so, but at the same time, it just feels off for me, in in my opinion, so... Maybe, maybe, it's, it, maybe it's just a me thing, but, though it definitely wasn't just a me thing, because there were people making mods not long after Scarlet and Violet released that, uh, that said, yeah, uh, let's remove this mod removes Ed Sheeran from the game. <laughs> Which is it's kind of funny. <laughs> Like, that's funny. That it's it's funny that that's a thing that people did. Anything else I was missing in terms of details that I could add, like I could lift from Yuji? I'm not sure. Um, I do need to add the little toggles for the jumper. Maybe, maybe for this, I'll have the toggles for the jumper be frayed, like, at the end. Because they're normally, like, bunched together very well. So I'm going to have them be frayed at the end. And also going to have, like, some, like, slight, um, cuts and nicks into the side. Because I feel like that works here. You know, it's details. It's little details that I like. I, I do like putting effort into little details, even if it's like minor stuff, because it really sells things, in my opinion. You know, little details really sort of make the drawing, in my opinion. Oh, 
Wasser mit zu gut passen. Right. And then do the same for this one. Maybe I should reduce the size of the rubber so I can actually sort of make the little things a bit more jagged instead of rounded. There we go. Hey! Little details. Hell yeah. So in terms of emotes, well, this file is going to be called this tale, follow, I am you. That's, that's what it's going to be called. It's just going to be called DS Tale Follow I Am You. In terms of colours and stuff, I need to lift that from my other, other drawings. Yeah, I think I'm happy with the line art, so I'm going to merge my line art layers. I'm going to start making my color layers. Actually, I think one thing, this is going to be very weird, and I know you're going to think this is very weird chatting here, but, um, extra, right, so, what you, And that weird thing is that I kind of want to do the shading first, while I have things kind of like visible in terms of where I want the shading to go. And I know this is going to look very awkward, um, because um, I don't normally do this, but I, I very clearly, based on the reference, have things marked out for shading. And I want to... Yeah, this was part of... This was part of the head shading, the head line art, so I'll do this as part of the head shading. But this is... I'm sorry if this is sacrilege or anything like that, but I want to at least get this done while I have it visible, and then I will just, you know, hide it when I'm doing the normal colours. Like, crucify me, burn me at the stake, gut me, put me in the stretcher, send me to the gallows for all I care, but this is my approach this time because um, I want to get it done this way. So I at least have it there, and then if I want to adjust like the shades of anything, then I can do that. I feel like definitely maybe may need to, some things to be a bit darker but we'll see we'll see we'll see i think because like i really should have added like those little like lines and stuff to the line art you know what? i'll do that i'll do that i actually do that as well 
I, I, I'm sorry if I'm jumping from one thing to another, but there's things I'm realizing that, hey, maybe this will actually work well if I keep it as the line art, you know, like the actual bloody thing. So, um... Do, 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 do. What game is this from? This is... Oh, this is Camphria Town from X and Y. I thought it was X and Y, but I couldn't remember where. God, I, I, uh, so much I don't remember from, like, Pokemon X and Y. <clears throat> like... Like, Gen 6. Gen 6 gave us Mega Revolution. It gave us what I think is my favourite battle mechanic in any of the Pokemon games. Mega Revolution. And that was cool. That was so cool. Though, unfortunately, in terms of, like, Pokemon X and Y's story, I didn't like Pokemon X and Y's story. It felt very uh, lackluster, in my opinion. And, like, like, I consider Pokemon, um, let me think. Um, Sun and Moon. I like Sun and Moon's story better, though I'd say Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon still takes the cake in that regard, but... Right, anyway, back to shadings and stuff, because I've sorted out those little sketch lines on the line art. You know what, chat? I, I, I feel like I, I like how this is going. I, I'm, st I'm still sorry that this is kind of awkward for me to get the bloody thing outlined and then just sort of, like, going on the outline of where the shading should be and then, like, doing that first while I still have it visible. But trust me, we will get to the rest of the drawing soon. Um, or the rest of the colouring. We'll get to the colouring soon. Don't worry. <clears throat> but I do hope that I can get, like, my final little plans for the birthday week stream stuff done next week. Or 
No, this was supposed to be on the body. Whoops. Uh, da, 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 da. And then merge layers. That's supposed to be there. All right, I think that's the most important, like, shaded stuff done. So, um, aside from the glasses, um, I, I, I can sort those out. I can sort those out. Um, so, now we need the actual color stuff. So, it's a good, it, it's always good to have, like, the other, like, emote drawings on hand, because then I can sort of go back and grab the colors that I need. Always, it's always helpful. <clears throat> oh, I need to. No, I don't need to color over that. I need to. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Shaking up. I like it a lot. I like this a lot. I'm very happy with this. Now I'm also noticing another spot where I could just shade on, like, the hoodie, and that would be, like, here. Because that's important. Yeah, that looks better. That looks much better. And then, of course, I need to sort out, like... Just so it's done in a way that makes sense. This, of course, needs to be fairly light. Right, now for head color. I 
I know I could have done it this time, because I know you were talking about it in VC the other night here, about, like, multiply layers and the like, but I kind of forgot about them. <laughs> I kind of forgot about the multiplier layers at this point in time, so um, I'll, I'll definitely try and weave it into the next thing I do, because I do want to I do want to give the multiply layers a go. I'll get rid of the shading for now, just so I can at least, um, have the whole neck covered. Just because. Just because, because otherwise it will bug me. So hearing music from Heart Gold Soul Silver always makes me happy. It always takes me back so much. I love it. First Pokemon game I ever played, Soul Silver. Yeah, absolutely great, brilliant, even. Like oh, I wish it was possible to just get a fresh new copy of Soul Silver because I don't want to, you know, erase my like data from like ten year, like fourteen years ago. And, like, those things are precious to me. Um, but, it's, I wish you could get, like, a fresh, like, or at least pre-owned copy of Soul Silver or Heart Gold fairly easily, because it's bloody expensive. It upsets me how expensive it is. It's sad. It's very sad how expensive it is. You shouldn't deny people keep. And I know it's easy to say, oh, just emulate it, and I guess in a way that would be the normal solution, but I I would just like to have like a fresh, you know, like a, a copy with no save data, so I could just start over from the beginning, play for it like I would have done 14 years ago, but you know, with the actual knowledge of everything to do with the bloody series at this point. Because when I started playing Pokemon, I just, I was stupid. I did not know anything to do with like type matchups or anything. I did not pay attention to them. I just got Pokemon that I thought were cool, and I thought, hey, uh, this move's powerful enough, and this Pokemon's powerful enough, it should be able to win this. And then I would always wonder why I would lose Gym Lead the rematches, <laughs> or almost lose Gym Lead the rematches, or I'd always be on the back pedal trying to re like use revives on a on a fire type that's been KO'd by a water type. Who knows? <laughs> I'm gonna go back and like I'm doing this preemptively. I'm gonna preemptively tidy up a small portion of the line art because there are some things that will be bugging me as I'm getting this done.
these however are not supposed to be soft or anything these are supposed to be like jagged I'm gonna try and correct that there's this here where I didn't do a clean line for the neck Okay, now that I've got there's still some bits in here that I need to tidy up a little bit. Nice. See, the joke I want to make here is clean up on li on aisle line art, but um, it it doesn't really work. Oh, I will say, one constant that came out of my little holiday away is um, me making jokes at the expense of my <laughs> of my niece and nephews. It happened multiple times. Let me think, let me think. Yeah, I think I've tidied up things enough for the time being. Oh wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna sort this one out because it's not too attached. And it's a bit too rounded. There we go. Yippee! Right. Uh back to head colour, because I need to do the eyes as well. Right, so let me change the paper background so I can do this properly. Head color, I'll clean that up. That up to what did I get? Oh god damn it! I I I I I I I I I Or would I opt for the shade? Hmm. No, actually, I won't go for the normal color. I'll go. I'll actually just do the shaded color. And then that's another look that's another little bit of line art that needs to be tidied up. Do, 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 do. See, as I'm going along, I'm tidying little bits up. That's it's always good to find the little bits that need to be sorted out along the way. And then <laughs> like it doesn't have like the UG's like normal light in his eyes. This needs to be shaded too, I believe. Ah, it needs to be the shaded color as well, I believe.
that fairly cleanly, honestly. Ah, oh, the bloody... I still need to do the... Right. That's, that was an important piece of the shading that I forgot. I forgot to do the bloody scar. I was about to say, hmm, something looks, something, it feels like something's missing. The remnants of where the scar would have been. Or where the blood would have been. After the scar, after the scar heals. I meant to get rid of that. I meant to hide that layer. Whoops. color. I made a little bit of a mistake. That was silly. Um, I reckon once I've given myself enough time to sort of like think things, then I'll definitely have my thing for next week all finalized and I'll be happy with that. But for now it's just like, uh, I'm trying to figure things out. Help. Um, da, 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 da. And then just go over.
Oh, uh, I hadn't noticed. Uh, for people who are non-sub and are currently watching, uh, it's another ad break. Uh, for people who are subbed, it's not your ad break. It's never an ad break. And for people who are watching things back, this does not affect you. Um, I'm just kind of quietly um, boiling away while you know things just sort of happen and I'm getting this done and I'm very pleased with how it's turning out. Of course there's still little bits that I need to tidy up with like the line art and the like but it's 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 a progress. It's a progress, it's a process. It's a matter of doing the thing and getting it tidied up and looking nice. Hmm. Wait, what the? What is going on? I swear, I I. For some reason, I don't know what's going on, but it doesn't really like letting me grab colors for. From like any other layer aside from the one I'm select I have selected for some reason. I don't know if that's ever been a thing with Clip Studio. And if not, I don't know what the hell's going on with it now, because this feels like something that's never happened to me before. Maybe I may make the shading a little thicker in places, so it's not too thin. Also, I don't <clears throat> don't know what song that the what game this one's from. This is this is Pokemon Legends Arceus. Chat with the Prekka. Ah, huh. I forgot it. Oops, sorry, my, my brain just <laughs> happened again. Uh... Where is... There we go. Right. 
So, head shading. I need to, of course, shade the hair. Why? Why is it not? I grabbed the... Or did I... Hold on. Or is it not, it's not like, it's not letting me do it. Oh, it's only letting me, why? It's never done this before. That's so weird. Ouch, 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 ouch. That's my ear. Ow. There we go. Do, 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 do. Why is it like forcing me to be specific about what layer I'm selecting when I'm wanting to color pick now? I don't understand. Oh, that I I I that's why. Whoops, that was my fault. I didn't even realize that was a setting. To be fair, I never really paid attention to like the other little settings for the color picker.
Alright, um... I think... I think this emo is looking done? I'm not too sure, because I feel like maybe there's some other little details that I need to add. Um, like more of like the little scrapes and scuffs. Um, I could do that for the line art, but in terms of like the colour and the shading, I'm not sure if there's anything else to add. That's not what I meant to do. Whoops. I need to look. I need to make sure. Like, let's see. How does this look? Oh, that looks fine enough. <laughs> oh yeah, more of the actual like little um, like stress lines under the eyes. That's also stuff for the eyelids too. I don't. Oh, uh. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm really feeling it. Also, my alerts are still broken. Should be. I swear to God. Settings. Stream elements overlay is like there. Audio monitoring. What's going on? Is it because I have audio controls set via OBS set? I don't know. I re I really need to review my uh, my alerts when stream's done. That's that's a thing. That's a thing I'll do. Yeah, the eyelids. Uh, I need to tidy up that line. That was a bit of a mistake. Account creator. Hmm. Right. Uh, stress lines under the eyes. That's what I need to do because I forget them. Uh, Clip Studio Pro, or Clip Studio Paint Pro, is what I'm using. I know there's like Procreate and other stuff out there, but um, I've been more used to Clip Studio. Um, 
for like the past few years or so. I think that emote's as good as done. Right. Get rid of this layer. Yeah. That one, that's looking as that's looking good and ready to go. Right. Export, single layer, PNG. Save that. Use fit, use GIMP and Photoshop. You're not good at creating art. But to be fair, like it's, it's, it's a slow, it's a slow thing with like people and art. Like you're not expected to absolutely, like nail things always. Like as you're learning things, there's, <clears throat> there's like ups and downs with it all. But you eventually sort of get there with it. But it takes a lot of time, like, I'm only, like, partway decent with things at, as of now because I do, and art rave stuff, yeah, but, um, like, it's mostly practice, and even then it's not entirely consistent. Um, I'm, I'm wanting to try and be consistent again with art because I do enjoy it a lot. I do, I enjoy it a lot, a lot, and I wish, um, I was more consistent with things, but, um, <laughs> I get, I, it's mostly just finding it, it's mostly finding that consistency What is what I'm trying to do, though every so often I do still struggle at times. Alright, so that is that emote done. I was hoping to get this done by the end of the stream, and I got it done like an hour like ahead of it. So that's cool. That's great. That should hopefully be a follower emote now. Um, so that would be Fierce Tail Follow. No, it hasn't. Up it hasn't updated on OBS yet. Um, Hmm. But it will, but it will be there. It will be there. Basically, as and when, like things refresh, which shouldn't be too long. So that will be great once that's all there. So now that's done, um, I'm not sure what to do for the rest of this stream because, um, like, my main little focus was that emote. And now that I've done it, um, I don't know what else to doodle or draw or focus on or much of anything, really. Um, so, I think. Oh, jeez. Um,. I think whatever comes to mind, which may take a little bit of time, because in terms of coming up with ideas and stuff, not always the greatest. Um, it takes me a while to sort of even think of anything. So, whatever ends up being a thing that sticks out in my mind will be what I try and focus on. Though, for now, a quick couple minutes sort of like rest to think about. Wow, we did it. Yeah, no, there it is. Which I'm pretty happy with. Ah. Like, I'll definitely... Hmm... what I whatever I feel like comes to mind like not like having a specific thing that I focus on but like if I think of a thing to doodle for the rest of the time I will do that yeah but thank you for that um I like 
the idea for using that like that panel that frame um popped into my head as the stream started like a while back or a while ago and i thought you know what this is going to be a funny little idea to do so i'm just going to do that um it was pretty neat um I guess in a way I could try and sort of like do like little like things for like potential like like game game dev stuff that I want to work on that kind of things eventually. Um, but I could try I could try and take it from that angle instead. So in terms of the ongoing like project, like the ongoing little prototype that I've been working on, which. I haven't had too much time to work on lately because of how busy everything's been, but I'll have more time to work on it going forward. Um, there's, like, I have basically all the movement stuff all set up. I have, of course, I mean, jumping is a given, but we have, like, air dashing. We have... Stomping. We have... Wall jumping. And sliding. And, you know, that's basically stuff for the, for the basic player mechanics. I don't want to do anything too sort of convoluted. I want to be able to sort of make it easy to sort of build things around rather than having it be some sort of complex like gimmick that's like oh god you have to make so many sets of different environmental objects and all that jazz just for the sake of trying to make things interesting when really if you're doing something that's relatively simplistic you can still make something interesting out of it it's just a matter of um well a little bit more care has to be put into making like level um, objects, little environmental hazards and the like that sort of feel unique to take on. Um, so if I get rid of these little, do I'm I'm not tapped into I wasn't tapped into Clip Studio. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so let me think. Uh, da, 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 um, if I can draw him from memory, that would be great. But if not, then that's fine too. But... I guess, in a way, this is kind of from memory, but at the same time, this is like... Drawing, I'm drawing, I'm drawing, um, I mean, of course I'm drawing, but <laughs> for people who are familiar, then this will not be a, a shock, but for people who aren't, um, I did try and, like, try breathing modeling, like, a little while back, and I made, like, a little low-poly character for, like, a platformer, um, but haven't done that kind of stuff since then, and it's kind of sad because I want to actually get pretty decent at it to try and make things for my own projects, but I'm not doing a good job of drawing my little rat character from memory. So, um... But if we were looking from the lens of my little rat character, which you can't really tell from this little abstract doodle because I'm I haven't drawn him from memory for a while, so it's kind of it's kind of it kinda of sucks right now. But um So little rat character. We have him here. Have him right here. Let's draw all the arrows pointing to him. You know, give him little shine like this is him, he is special. And the one thing I would like to be able to do is that 
Ooh, sorry about that. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of brush options. Like, there's like plenty of brush options. Either like there's like different sub tools for like a different things. So like we've got like pencil, but sub tool pencils for like regular pencils and pastels. We've got brushes, but different like sub tools for brushes like watercolors, realistics, thick paint, India ink. Like for pens, we've got pen and markers, but then you can have like different like types of pens and different types of markers, which I do like a lot. I know like other art programs also do something like very similar where there's like a lot of options that they have. So, um, but, but I feel like with a lot of people, it's always a case of like figuring out what ones they like the most and what works for them and what suits what they're going for for their art in particular. It's just that I like, I like real pencil for like my little doodles and stuff because Oh, oh god, um, I like, I guess I like the little, how, like, rough it can look. Like, you know, actual little sketches on, like, pencil and paper. That's what I like. Um, but yeah, um, in terms of the, um, like, the little rat character for the platformer, um, in terms of, like, environment, like, level objects and stuff, I want things to make sense in, like, a, like, not just, like, a genre standpoint, so, like, moving platforms, like elevators that go up and down, we've got like maybe like disappearing platforms that like, you know, they do that or you have platforms that you can jump through, so like you can jump through and on top of it, like I want things that make sense from like a platforming standpoint, however, aside from that, I also want things that make sense from a hazardous standpoint to, like, to a rat. Like, you know, what is a hazard that you think of when you think of a rat? Normally you think of, say, something similar to mice. You have, like, mouse traps, like, boxes of rat poison. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, I'd actually have to research what could work. So, as... Um, maybe, maybe, maybe disease, maybe disease for the rats as well. I'm, 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 I'm just kind of spitballing here. Uh, But I do want to try and create like environmental hazards and stuff and objects like and collectibles and stuff that makes sense for like a rat platformer. Um, Lord, God, jeez, sorry about that. Ugh. I'm very tired um, from today, um, but I am trying to think of stuff that would work, stuff that would be that would be natural for this kind of character and would also be interesting from a gameplay standpoint as well. Though I'm not entirely sure yet, I'll try and sort of come up with those ideas as I go along. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure yet. You're a game developer, but you've never made a platformer. You want to make a side-scroller one? Yeah, no, to be fair, like, it's not too difficult to make a side-scroller. Um, I was thinking more on the terms of like a 3D platformer from my perspective, but side scrollers work as well. Um, they're fairly simple to sort of put together, but because of like simplicity's sake, there's um, a lot of thought that one would need to put behind um, 
trying to make the experience unique compared to other 2D platformers. Um, like gameplay wise, visual wise, soundtrack wise, and so on and so forth. Because there are quite a few platformers I'd say that are very similar in terms of style and everything else and it feels like oh god it, uh, what if I made oh gosh what is essentially a copy and paste of another platformer how, how would I avoid that and I guess one thing is like you don't reinvent the wheel too much but at the very least you try and see what works You can experiment with things. Like, genres exist as a sort of baseline, but at the same time... Oh yeah, no, like, the biggest challenge is always the issues that you face making games. Like, it's always either the bugs that you find, or the software not really listening to you, or, like, other things that just may or may not happen along, like, the process of developing things. It, it's, it's stuff that happens. It's, it's stuff that happens that, like, it, it can bog you down at times, but... I wouldn't necessarily say it's something that's like, oh god, it ruins the entire experience that I never want to do it again. It happens. It happens. But it it's just kind of, yeah, it's middle of the road, I guess. Anyway, um, I'm feeling rather tired from today um, because today has been a very long day for me. So I think I'm going to call stream there for today. But... Thank you ever so much to everyone who showed up and everything who's uh, everyone who's watching things back on the VOD, whether it's here on Twitch or on YouTube, depending on when you're watching this. I really appreciate you being here. Next stream will of course be on Monday, and we'll be kicking off like the week, like my birthday week streams and stuff, which I will have the finalized like sort of ideas and schedule for that done either tomorrow or by Sunday. Um, it will definitely be before Monday because I don't want to do it last minute and be like, ah, it's here. Now do you know what's happening on what day? But um But that's gonna be that's gonna be fun to sort of plan and do and get out of the way, because it will be a time where I get to experiment with different things. Uh, anyway, um aside from that, thank you ever so much. I really appreciate it, and as always, I will see you all in the very next stream. <laughs>